So you're working on your car or building an engine. How do you know that the bolts are tight and that the clamp force is proper? Well, normally, you grab one of these, torque wrench, and you set it to the right value, and you look up in the book of what the uh, torque spec is supposed to be for a certain fastener, put some lubricant on it, torque it down, and when you reach your uh, prescribed torque, this will click. Theoretically, you know that that's tight enough, which means the clamp force is enough, and it's all right. But is it really? So, the, you know, the first question is, is your torque wrench accurate? Uh, this little device is kind of cool. This is a, um, a digital torque adapter, and this allows you to turn any wrench into a torque wrench because you connect one side of the wrench and the other side to your socket, and it's got a digital readout, and it will show you what the torque rating is as you're tightening a fastener. Uh, in our case, we've preset this one to uh, 50 foot-pounds of torque. It's got 50 flashing there. And you can also use this to check the accuracy of your torque wrench. So it comes with this little adapter to put in the vise. My trusty Stamp-on torque wrench is set to 50 pounds, and I'm gonna drop this thing in here. And when I start pulling on this, there's a little light that's gonna light up on the front here, and it's gonna turn green when it starts to sense some torque, and it's gonna turn red as I get closer. And theoretically, when this torque wrench clicks, the display will show 50 pounds. All right, so we crossed 50. Let's do it again and look at it. 28, 39. So this is like clicking around 54 or so foot pounds. So that tells me that anything I tighten with this torque wrench, I'm over tightening because it's out of calibration. And you can have torque wrenches fixed and calibrated so that they're accurate again, but these little digital devices are very accurate and they're kind of handy to have. So, what does that tell us? Now we know that we're putting 50 pounds of twist force on the fastener, right? But do we know if it's the right amount of clamp force on what we're tightening? So I'm gonna use one of these uh, ARP bolts here as an example. This is a 7 16 bolt. When you look at this, it has threads on the shaft. Well, the threads are technically an inclined plane that's wrapped around this shaft. And the more you turn it, the more it pushes its way in. And we have to make the correlation between turning this and this clamping down what you're trying to bolt together. And is that always accurate? Is it always consistent? And that's the big question, because as you're tightening a bolt, you have no way of knowing the clamp force. You can measure how much twist you put on it, but you don't know the clamp force. So there's three ways to measure torque. The one is with a torque wrench, like we just showed you. Another way is with a bolt stretch gauge, which will measure a bolt when it's tight, uh, provided you can get at both ends of it. So rod bolts you can do it to, but a cylinder head bolt, you can't. Uh, so you don't know. The other uh, way to measure torque is called torque angle, which means you tighten it to a certain point and then go a little bit more uh, as dictated by the manufacturer. And that little extra bit provides a little extra clamp for us, and there you go. Now, when you're putting a bolt into something and torquing it down, it's mandatory to use a lubricant. It used to be engine oil uh, or an extreme pressure lubricant. But ARP researchers found out that even with lubrication, it took six torque cycles to get consistent clamp force across a bunch of fasteners. Basically what that means is, even with a brand new fastener, they had to lube it up and run it into the hole, reach its torque spec, and then loosen that up and do that cycle six times before, for example, all the head bolts on a small block Chevy were clamping at the same amount. Does that make sense? There's 17 bolts on a small block Chevy cylinder head. And the problem is you wanna make sure that they're all clamped down the right amount. Now they can all be to the right torque spec, but if the friction level is different on each one, are they really clamping down all the way? And it didn't matter which lubricant was used, they all seem to have this different level of clamp force unless you cycle them at least six times. So ARP set out to do something about that, and that's when they came up with their ultra torque uh, fastener assembly lubricant. This stuff is not your typical oil or extreme pressure lubricant. This is specially designed to make it so you apply it to a bolt, torque it down. It is 95% accurate 
on the first cycle, right? Because what machine shop or engine shop or race team wants to spend the time torquing bolts six times in order to get an accurate torque setting across all the bolts and the proper clamp load? So that's why they developed this stuff. And it turns out that that 5% rating is crucial not only to keep it clamped, but also when removing the bolt, because that's where a lot of damage can occur. Uh, this stuff has a 360 degree melting point, so it stays where you put it on the threads. Because as you can imagine, if you bolt a cylinder head down, run the car for, who knows, a race or a year or longer, when you go to take that bolt out again, the original thread lubricant's long gone. Well, this stuff will still be there so that when you take the bolt out, the threads don't gall on removal. And you can learn more about this at arp-bolts.com.